Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Reset Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily fix speaker not working on your Honor 200 Smart. So, the first thing we need to do is restart our phone because rebooting can clear temporary glitches that may be affecting the speaker. So, how you do that? Basically, hold the power button. Now the Gemini will pop up, but we don't care about it. Now we click, we need to leave the Gemini, click restart and touch to restart again. Now here all we have to do is just wait and then we can test the sound again. So now our phone is restarted. All we have to do is enter the pin and now we need to check the volume levels. I know it may sound obvious but many people are being caught off guard by it. So now basically we have to test it. Now click the gear icon to open up the settings. And here all we have to do is enable everything. Now, as you guys can see, it's working for me, but if it's not working for you, then what you can do is disconnect wired headphones or disable Bluetooth because audio might be routed through connected devices and not your phone. So try to unblock wired headphones from the 3.5 millimeter jack, which is here, or the USB-C port. Now, how to disable Bluetooth, go over to control center and make sure that this icon is great because now, as you guys can see, Bluetooth is enabled and now it's disabled. So, if this still didn't work, then you can try and clean the speaker grills from the top and from the bottom because dust, lint or debris can muffle the sound or basically it will block all the sound. So yeah. You can try and use a soft brush or compressed air to blow gently on the speaker grills. And if it's still not working, then what you can try is test the speaker with different apps, like music, videos, ringtones, to see if the problem is app specific or is it your phone. But if all of that still didn't work, then go over the settings. Now scroll down until you see system and updates. Now click on software update right at the top and make sure that you're running the latest version of your software. I'll double check it for you guys so you guys can see that I'm running the latest version of Magic OS and that my software is up to date. So if it's not for you then I recommend you update it because sometimes the glitches may occur in the later versions and not the latest ones. So yeah, if none of that worked then what you guys can try is factory reset your phone if it's needed. So go over to backup and restore first. Now make sure to always backup your data before resetting. And now go to reset. Here click reset phone, click reset phone once again and then click reset phone for the third time. And now your phone will be resetting itself to factory settings. So if this still didn't work, everything we've been through here, every step, then I recommend you going to the professional service to get a professional opinion and diagnose. So yeah, that would be it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I hope it helped you. Bye.